we thought we were done having kids and I started passing out and my blood pressure started bottoming out. And so I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. And it was that the 25th week ultrasound. The doctor comes in and she's like, I'm really worried that you might have some accreta. Accreta is where the placenta acts like a cancer. Instead of attaching to the uterus, it grows into the uterus. Placenta accreta makes the surgery more difficult, makes control of hemorrhage more difficult, and so it can get out of hand quickly. It is a very complex disease with a mortality rate approaching six or seven percent. That is in its own category of how high that is. It was a huge sobering experience and it's happened on a number of occasions where right before the patients are put under general anesthesia, look into my eyes and say, please don't let me die. And that's a huge responsibility. I joined some groups on Facebook, some accreted groups. And while I was in the hospital, there was four women who died on the operating table with Accreta. It kills women every year and it's preventable. I was in the hospital for 62 days and they kept talking about this balloon thing they were going to use on me. I googled Reboa and then I got on the company's page and I started figuring out what it is and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is so awesome. Our team did decide that the ER Reboa catheter had major potential benefits in treating these patients. The decision we originally had to make was were we going to put them in every patient or were we going to put them in patients who evidenced a need for hemorrhage control? We decided it was safer to put them in every patient. In the old days, when the pelvis started to fill up with blood, panic sets into everybody. It has to, because you can't see what's bleeding. You have a hard time controlling it. The ER Reboa catheter gives you the ability to turn off the spigot, stop the blood flow, and gain control of what's going on. Emily, she had bleeding heavier than expected, and that's why we blew up the balloon, to facilitate her surgery, get her out of the operating room quicker, and into recovery. Relief. Oh my gosh, I really did survive. Roman is just, he's so happy. He wakes up every day just full of smiles, and you look at him and he just lights up. I've gotten to enjoy these four months with him. When if it wasn't for Dr. Cohen and if it wasn't for the Reboa, I would have been gone for four months now. To be able to take care of women and babies and get them to that point that they can have a healthy baby, a safe delivery. It's why people go into obstetrics. I get a big smile when I see Emily and any of the other patients. The sun shines a whole lot brighter. Just to be able to go outside and feel the wind, my senses are more alert. And I'm just extremely grateful. I'm very blessed very blessed to, to be here.